Business, thank you for our career. Thank you for everything that concerns each and every one of us. To you be all glory, to you be all honor, to you be all adoration in the name of Jesus. Father, as you come online today to have a fellowship with you in the presence of Holy Spirit, I ask that today, Lord, you will arise in your power, you will visit each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. You will arise in your power, you will arise in your mind and visit our home in the name of Jesus. As many people that are, that are coming online today, as many people that will be watching this uh, ministration, as many people that will be fellowship with us today, I ask that, Father, those with one ailment or the other, those with one health issue or the other, my Lord, my God, I ask that today you will visit them in the name of Jesus. You will visit them in the name of Jesus. You will visit them in the name of Jesus. Your healing grace, your healing power, let it be stretched forth upon them in the name of Jesus. Father, today, more than before, Lord, visit us in the name of Jesus. Do that which only you can do. And at the end, sweet Holy Spirit, take all glory, take all honor, take all adoration. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I welcome every one of us who are online. You are welcome to today's communal service in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. With the help of Holy Spirit, every Friday, 12 noon Nigeria time, we come online for communal service. Communal service. Praise ye the Lord. We come online to break bread and um, the bread which represents the flesh of our lord jesus christ we come online to break it and to take the cup of the blood of jesus the cup of wine the cup of the new testament the cup of the new will amen it's our cup of divine healing somebody say divine healing i can't hear you sir i want you to say divine healing so hear me sir hear me man as you come online today we are here to take the cup of divine healing against any form of sickness against any form of infirmity and i know that in the name of our lord jesus christ today your healing comfort in the name of jesus i said your healing comfort in the name of jesus praise ye the lord before we go into today's uh look at one or two scripture and we take our uh, some prayer and uh, we break the common on. my name is for those who are joining us for the very first time my name is ariola or the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry and this is praying eagles network praying eagles network is an online prayer ministry where we gather together in the place of prayer to pray unto the living god in the name of our lord jesus christ with the help of holy spirit we pray unto god in the name of jesus no no more no less nothing after it but with the help of holy spirit because the bible said we don't know what to pray but the spirit the spirit of the living God, who knows the beginning and who knows the end, who knows the source of our problem, and who knows the solution to it, what will happen? He pray through us. That means he pray in us in groaning. Praise he the Lord. So, therefore, I welcome every one of us who are online today for communal service. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. And let's not forget, every Friday, also, 11.30 p.m., our weekly Fiji every Friday. Our weekly Fiji time is 11:30 p.m. on free conference call app. Weekly Fiji 11:30 p.m. on free conference call app. Amen. You need link. You need a uh, further clarification on how to join us. Just send a message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight 
234-6255 plus 234-8068-6255 and by the, with the help of Holy Spirit, I will send you the link and uh, instruction on how to link. Amen. Once again, we are all welcome to today's communal service in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. And also, let's not forget, every Sunday, by the help of Holy Spirit, every Sunday, we have our online Sunday service. Every Sunday, our online Sunday service. Every Sunday, our online Sunday service. Praise ye the Lord. Today, we are taking communion for divine healing. Communion for divine healing. Communion for divine healing. Praise ye the Lord. There are many ways that uh, people can receive divine healing. What is divine healing? Divine healing is healing coming to us not via medical people but through the Almighty God. From the Almighty God. Yes, we know medical people, they will even tell us that they only try, they only try to treat people, they treat ailments. It is the Lord God that bring healing. Praise the Lord. So, if that is the case, here, Mr. Here, man, there are many ways in which God can bring healing to his own children. No matter the kind of sickness, no matter the kind of ailment, there are many ways in which you can obtain healing from the Almighty God. Number one, you can obtain healing by praying unto the living God. Are you with me? You can obtain healing when you pray unto the living God. That health issue, when you present it unto the living God, hear me, sir, hear me, man. God answer prayer. And when God answer prayer, He brings healing your way. How the healing will come, no one can explain it. Praise the Lord. But you are just sure that when you pray unto God for healing, healing come. Amen. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah said, Heal me, O Lord, I shall be healed. Save me, I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. That is a prayer. Heal me, O Lord, from this sickness, from this infirmity. If you have done tests, medical tests, and you know the name, you mention it. Heal me from this sickness. Heal me from this ailment. Lord, if, as, as I said, if you have done uh, the test, you have the report in your hand, for example, if, if this is my prayer journal, Assume that this is your medical uh, result, amen, and uh, there, are some, there are some results there which you don't like. So how do you do it? You lift it up before God. You look for some scriptures that have to do with healing. Praise it the Lord. That is why those who are having a uh, health issue, praise it the Lord. I, I share with them that one of the ways that they can activate their healing speedily is for them to look for scriptures that talk about healing. Scriptures that talk about healings. And you turn into tablet, you turn into drug. Medically, they will tell us, take one medicine in the morning, take one before bed. One in the morning, one at night. So those scriptures that are talking about healing, you turn them to medication, you turn them to drug. When you wake up in the morning, you take one dose. Before you go to bed at night, you take one dose. Before you know it, the Bible says, send forth his word. His word heal them. The Lord God sent forth his word. So when you receive the word, you take it in, in the morning. In the night, before you go to bed, you take another one. Tomorrow, you take another one. Then in the night, you take another one. Some people, I share with them. I said, what you do is this. After you have those scriptures, don't just say, I've gone through them. What do you do? You copy them out. You print them. You have a, a print of them. Amen. You can take one. This week, I'll be reciting this in the morning. I'll be reciting this in the night. Or this particular scripture, every morning, every night, throughout this week, I'll be reciting it. So next week, you change it again. Upper week, you take another one. Some people, they take one in the morning, one in the night. Every morning, they take one scriptures, One scripture that have to do with healing. Before they go to bed in the night, they take another one. How do they do it? The healing scriptures, they have it printed out. They staple it and put it under their pillow or beside their bed. So as they are waking up in the morning, they just take that uh, medication. Praise the Lord. 
and the particular one that they are taking for that week, they, they meditate on it. Before you know it, we have testimony. We have testimony. So here, Mr. I think I've mentioned to now, you can receive the fire healing through praying unto God. You can receive the fire healing through meditating on the word of God. Through meditating on the word of God. When you meditate on the word of God, what happens? The fire healing is certain. Just like those uh, scripture, pray, see the Lord. You can receive the fire healing through fasting. Yes, there are some ailments where you fast. Fa- because, because of you not taking in those particular food. There are some enzymes, they begin to shrink, they begin to die on their own inside your system. Those are the things causing that sickness, so that is the thing causing that awful. Praise the Lord. There are some ailments, there are some disease, there are some infirmity that they are attached to a particular food. They are attached to a particular drink. They are attached to a particular type of food. So what do you do? You fast that food. You may be taking another food, but that particular food, you fast it. What do that mean? You don't take that food. It's fasting. It's there in medicine. Spiritually, you have there. The Bible said Daniel fasted a particular kind of food. Praise the Lord. A particular kind of bread. That I'm not going to take this bread. That doesn't mean he's not eating. He's eating at that food, but that particular food, that bread, is not eating it. There are some people, medically, they will tell them, don't eat this particular food. Food with salt, food with sugar, food with uh, high carbohydrate, amen, all manner, all kind of food. They will tell them, don't eat it. What is that? That is fasting. Praise the Lord. And they won't take it. But when we come to the place of prayer, we ask you to fast. Say, ah, pastor, if I fast, I will die. You, <laughs> you will not die. Nobody die of fasting. Praise the Lord. What makes people, some people say, eh, eh, we learn that somebody die when he fasted. The way and the manner that person goes by it is what causes crisis. Praise the Lord. For example, you are fasting three days, seven days, die fasting, 21 days, die fasting. I already I encourage people take little water. If you are used to fasting, you may go three days, seven days, 21 days without water, without anything. Yes. But if you are new to fasting, ah, please take water. Then your individual system, individual body organs, the way they are strong, are different. Praise the Lord. So if you know that you have a delicate or fragile organs, I encourage when you are fasting, take water. Take water. You know why? When you have you have water to do what? So that your system will not shrink. Those that fast and uh, they die as a result of fasting. After three or four days fasting, their intestine, the long, the small intestine, the large intestine, begin to shrink. You know, they are like pipe, they are like hose. So they begin to shrink and um, coming together, and you have fat, oil around them. So they glue together. So when it was time for them to break that fasting, you see, because of that system, they will take cold uh, drink, very cold drink, because you know at that time your body will be vibrating. Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. Your system, the organs, the, especially the long and the small and the big or whatever intestine they call it, have shrink as a result of fat. They have glued together as a result of fat. You not take cold water. It will solidify. That is the meaning. It's like pouring oil on your margarine, on your butter. You know, it will make it to be solidified. That is it. That is what leads to people's death. Some people, after three days, seven days, 11 days, 21 days, dry fasting, when it is time for them to breathe that fasting, they will look for solid food. For those of us from um, Nigeria, you know what they call Eba, um, Amala, Panded yam, yes, I love panded yam. <laughs> Amen. Solid food, food that will not digest on time. Food that when you are swallowing it, you all your eyes, everything will just <laughs> when they take it. Don't forget, you have been fasting, and the intestine they are just tiny pipe. They have shrink, they have collapsed. There is no way they are for that food to go down. So you not take solid food. It's not going to go beyond this place. The system have have collapsed. Those are the things that lead to death. What do you do when you are fasting or you are going on 
dry fasting three days, seven days for healing. I recommend, I recommend. Um, I keep forgetting the, the name. There's this anti anti ulcer medication. Please, uh, medical people online, what do you call it? Those that white liquid, amen. Those who have ulcer, they used to ask them to take it before you fast. Let it be the last thing you will take. You know, it's like cement. It will cement all your intestine, the pipe down. So, no injury, no punch. Nothing will punch your intestine. Nothing will punch your, the, all those uh, pipe. The pipe will be entered. When it is time for you to break the fasting, let it that be the first thing you are going to take. It doesn't spoil your fasting. If you are having ulcer, you are having any ulcer related issue, anti ulcer uh, liquid uh, medication, you take it, drink it. The work is it's plaster this, this the, the, the pipe. Praise it the Lord. So you take it. When you take it, it cements your system. When it is time for you to break the fasting, let that. Uh, maybe a drug be the first thing you will take when you take it it go down cement the place then number two never never don't take cold tea hi as a matter of fact because my work is i talk there are some things i don't take if i take it it's going to affect my my throat number one of it is drinking cold something cold water cold drink if I come to your house to visit you, you offer me cold uh, uh, drink. I will we'll be talking like uh, play like play. That cold thing will be there. And I will allow it to, to just, uh, my people will say, calm down. Eh? The thing to calm. Because if I take it, it's going to affect my, my sofa gods. It's going to affect my windpipe. It's going to affect my throat. So when I come tomorrow to talk, that is when you see me sneezing. You see me coughing. I will not be able to talk, talk very well. And uh, number two, fat. I don't anything that have to do with fat. You fry something, fried chicken, fried fish, fried meat. Amen. I run away from it because it's going to affect this. So the same thing when it is time for you to break that your fasting. You know you are fasting for it. One of the ways that we receive healing from God is to fast. When it is time for you to break that fasting, what do you do? Your medication. Amen. That we anti. Um, uh, yes, thank you, man. Genocide and anti acid. Yes, anti acid. Amen. Resa gel. Okay, that's how I have medical people online. So when you take it, number one, then number two, don't take cold tin. The cold tin did not profit your system, it damaged our system. What do you do? And don't take very hot. If you take hot things, all those uh, anti mommy, please remind me again. I think I need to memorize it. Anti acid, amen. And our prayer coordinator, Kenya, said, um, Reza gel. When you take hot things, hot drink, hot water, hot tea, it will dissolve, it will make that thing down. So that hot drink will still punch your system. So what do you do? You take warm, warm. Not cold, not hot. Not cold, not hot. Warm. You take it and you don't rush. You take. You just have a sip. I recommend. If you go 21 days, 41 days fasting for healing, when it is time for you to break it, tell your wife, tell your husband, I want to break my fast on so-so-so date. Tell them, let them be beside you. You know why? Your system will cry for it. And uh, when you take the cup full of water, you put it, you will finish it before you drop it. Because you already told them they will be there watching you. Daddy, it's okay, it's okay, just wait, just wait. Take a sip. Put it down. After some minutes, take another sip. Gradually, gradually. Take warm tea. Then take liquid drink, liquid water. Then you now my, um, begin to move to semi-liquid. What do I mean by semi-liquid? Things like custard. 
think like um what are those semi liquid food <laughs> i'm not a food person so i don't really know the name of food so you take all those things praise it alone then don't go on three days seven days 11 days 21 days 41 days drive fast and the day you are breaking it you are taking solid food it will lead to death or it will lead to injury fasting bring healing praise the lord i mentioned prayer there are prayer and different mood anointing bring healing when somebody who is anointed in the area of healing pray for you it bring healing when elders of the church when brethren of the church come together to pray for you the prayer of the saints they are not anointed for healing but the Bible said the prayer of the saints, the prayer of the saints, brethren in the church, they come together and pray for you in one accord. It brings healing. Praise it the Lord. Those that are anointed, when they lay hand on you, healing grace in them is like electricity. It will be transferred to you. And from there, you receive healing. Praise it the Lord. Another way that God brings healing to his children is through the communion. Is through the communion. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. One of the mystery of God, one of the things of God that no one has been able to break down, to really explain how it works, how it function, is what? Is the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus is they are just like medical people, they are they are there are some antibiotics that are general. You can use it for many ailments, many things, many issues. There are some antibiotics that are used for a particular um, issue, and there are some antibiotics that are general. They use it to treat whatever bacteria, anything that come. So blood of Jesus is like that. Praise it the Lord. It is the understanding that you have. It is the revelation of it that you have. I was discussing with somebody. I said, blood of Jesus is not something that I read. It's something that I witnessed. It's something that when I go to a tight corner and I cry unto God, it revealed to me. Praise it the Lord. Apart from the knowledge of our fathers, about how they use blood for healing the blood of animal. Somebody want to die, they will transfer the death of that human being to that animal. Praise the Lord. Somebody is sick, that sickness, they transfer it through blood to that animal. Amen. By exchange of blood. Praise the Lord. Just like the, the wicked people, the occulted people, when they get hold of a blood of any man, they can do and undo to the life and destiny of that man with that blood. The same thing, the blood of Jesus. It's only the revelation up to the revelation of what you know about it. Nobody has able to say, oh, this is the area, the everything that the blood can do. No. Day by day, it, God keep bringing the revelation afresh. In, medi in medicine, medical people, they don't joke with blood because they know that one of the things that give them victory in the area of treating people is the blood. The blood. There are some ailments, there are some disease, there are some infirmity. What they just do need to do is to look for blood. When they look for blood, they just transfer that blood to that person. By giving that blood to that person. When they give blood to that person who is having that ailment, who is having that sickness, they are sure that there will be what? There will be healing. Blood. Blood of human being. You know why? The book of Leviticus 17, verse 11. Leviticus 17, verse 11 says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Every man is made up of three things the spirit, the soul, and the body the body is the flesh the spirit the soul and the body and uh, leviticus 17 11 is saying the life of the body the life of the flesh which is the body is in the blood so the moment you remove blood from the flesh from the body 
this body became dead. It's a dead, it's a dead thing. So what is giving us life is that what? Is that blood. And the life is in that blood. Don't forget, God created this body from the, from the mortar, from the soil. And the Bible says, he breathed unto it the breath of life. So the breath, which simply means the breath goes in, into the blood. That is why medical people, they are still trying to create. They cannot do it. It's one of the things that they have not been able to create. The only thing they can do is to see how they can get, um, uh, what do you call it? How they can get five liters of blood and uh, try and uh, <laughs> breed it so that it become 10, it become 20. Amen. But for them to create, am I right, man? I have uh, medical people online. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But hear me, sir. Hear me, man. They know that when you introduce blood to some health issue, it bring healing into those uh, uh, things. Medically. Medically. Praise the Lord. There are some strange illness, there are some strange disease in the body that your own blood will fight. Sickness, infirmity in the body, the blood itself will fight them. That is why they call it the soldier of the, the army, the soldier of the body. The, blo the blood fights strangers. When strangers in form of bacteria enter into the body, what happens? A particular set of blood will go there and begin to see how they can fight it. Praise the Lord. Aging problem, aging problem. It has been said that um, the platelet and plasma, amen, when they combine it together, it helps in treating aging health related issues. Those elders, those who are growing old and they are having a um, uh, aging related crisis, when they bring platelet rich and plasma together and infuse them into that system, it brings a kind of relief to the pain. And uh, those who are having injury, he speed up the recovery. Praise the Lord. That is just the blood of human being, the blood of man like me, the blood of man like you. Those who are having bones related issues medically, they know that the solution to it is to have clean and good blood. Amen. Praise the Lord. There are some certain cancer, amen, anemia, uh, sickle cell disease. The only treatment for it is what? to reintroduce blood to introduce blood to introduce blood what is that sickness in your body that de, that needs blood today for healing what is that ailment that needs special blood for recovery for healing what injury have you sustained internal or external what ailment are you having are you growing old and as a result of that you are having some pain joint pain tissue pains amen uh, you cannot bend down very well like uh, my my sister online mrs kira amen if, when you bend down now your waist will be hecky you me i'm still a small boy i can bend down 100 times but you when you bend down one time like this amen it take the grace of god for you to stand up again <laughs> praise the lord when we bring in the blood it brings fresh life into our system into our tissue today there's a there's this blood that can do more than what ordinary blood of man and woman like yours like mine can do the blood of jesus because it is pure because it is only blood that was not contaminated today no matter that sickness no matter that ailment no matter that pollution in your blood that brought in sickness and amen. By the blood of Jesus, healing is coming in the name of Jesus. 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 There are many people in the Bible that they had a counter with the Jesus Christ and they received their healing. The life is in the blood of Jesus. How dare you touch the blood? When you touch the, the body, you have touched the blood. When the blood touch you, you have touched him. Amen. Praise it the Lord. That when they touch Jesus Christ, or when Jesus Christ touched them, they receive their healing. We have many of them in the Bible. We have many people in the Bible that death was about to catch up with them. But by introducing blood, the, the death stay. Death lift them. Their life was preserved. Blood preserve life blood bring healing 
blood preserve life. Today, I decree, I declare, concern every one of you online that your life need to be preserved from that sickness, from that ailment. I declare, I declare by the blood of Jesus, receive healing in the name of Jesus. Receive healing in the name of Jesus. Receive the, that divine touch in the name of Jesus. Matthew 8, 1 to 3, the leper was ill when Jesus Christ touched him. In Matthew 8, verse 1 to 3, that leper was ill when Jesus Christ touched him. Praise the Lord. In John 9, 1 to 7, John chapter 9, 1 to 7, a man that was born blind was ill when Jesus Christ touched his hand with mud. You know why? Every one of us, the, all our organs were created from the mud. He that created it took another mud and the Bible says he spit on it and he mowed it and he put it on his eyes. What is it meaning? Spiritually, he created another organ, another eyes and fix it by his hand and what happened the man was ill any one of you that you are having eyes problem i decree i declare receive the touch of god for healing in the name of jesus receive the touch of god for healing in the name of jesus mark 5 35 downward mark 5 35 downward jesus guy to the daughter of jairus by the hand and when she lifted her what happened she was raised from the dead she was raised from the dead any dead organ, any dead tissue in our body, anything in our body that is dead as a result of that, their crisis, their affliction, their attack, I decree, I declare, the hand of the Almighty God for healing. Let it raise you up in the name of Jesus. Let it raise you. 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 That organ from the crown of your head. All your head region, your chest region, your hand region, your stomach region, your lower, low, your waist region, your leg region, any part of your body that is not functioning well as a result of old age, as a result of attack, as a result of accident, as a result of um, whatever it is that have brought problem, introduced problem to that particular organ. Today, the hand of the Almighty God for healing, let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. In Luke 7, 11 to 16, here you see another widow of the Bible, the Bible called widows of Nain, her only surviving son. Husband dead. The only thing that was giving her joy, the son died. What happened? The Bible said Jesus Christ stopped them. Today, as they were carrying the dead body to where they were buried in, the Bible said Jesus Christ encountered them and stopped them. Today, anything that is dying gradually in your system, any organ that is dying gradually, any tissue that is dying gradually, today, I decree, I declare, let there be a stop in the name of Jesus. Let there be a stop, 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 in the name of Jesus. And what happened? Jesus Christ touched the coffin of that boy and what happened the boy was raised back to life i decree i declare by the touch of resurrection we are in the season of restoration by the touch of restoration anything especially in your body the body of your spouse your husband your wife the body of your children any earth issue any earth issue any hormonal issue anything in your system that is not functioning well that is not functioning right Today, by the touch of the restoration, let there be divine correction in the name of Jesus. Divine correction, 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 divine correction. I decree, I declare, divine correction in the name of Jesus. 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 There are some things that may go wrong in our system, not as a result of attack. They just they just go wrong. Medically, nobody can explain, and it's not spiritual. You know, the, our system is a complex. It's a complex thing. There are a lot of things there. Amen. So when one, one when, when, when there's a particular issue with one, amen, many times it affects every other thing. Whatever that has gone wrong in your system, and as a result of that, your, uh, your, your system is under attack. 
I decree, I declare in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus. Let there be correction. 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 As you are saying, Amen. I decree, I declare. Define correction in the name of Jesus. Define correction. 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 In the name of Jesus. Define correction. In the name of Jesus. Define correction 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 by the power of resurrection. Define correction. Define correction. Define correction. Define correction. Defy correction. Defy correction. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Can we bring out our common on? I'm just going to declare and declare upon it. And as we declare upon it, you will take it. And as you are taking it, you will begin to decree and declare upon that area, upon that organ in your system. And as you begin to decree and declare upon it, hear me, sir, hear me, ma. I can testify to the goodness of God. I have shared it on this platform. Even when I don't know Christ, when I was still small, amen, my system was paralyzed. And uh, medically, they said it was stroke. I was in elementary school at that time. Can you just imagine? Just coming, I'm seeing a small baby there. <laughs> amen. My, my, my left system, I cannot, it was just. But here means I hear me, man. God did it. Here it is today. If I don't, if, if, if you are right, if I tell you, you will not believe. Praise the Lord. Over how many years? Over 30 years ago. To God be the glory. I have shared on this platform how I have a particular health attack. And uh, medically, my uncle said, if they should operate on this thing, this boy is going to die. <laughs> Amen. I, I like, I like, I like things that I see. It gives me confidence than things that I read. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And they say, oh, if they operate it, this boy is going to die. And what is the way out? It's going every day. The growth is just getting bigger every day. And at the end, they know that this boy is going to die. So they everyone are waiting for the day that this boy will die. But suddenly, Jesus Christ intervened in my matter. Did you hear me? Jesus Christ intervened in my matter. With the prayer of the faint, the, of the saint. I've never given my life to Christ. At that time, I was having issue with Jesus. I was fighting with Jesus. <laughs> Amen. But because he knows where he's taking me to, he knows that I'm a tool in his hand tomorrow. He appeared. And with the prayer of the saint, overnight, the growth disappeared. Praise the Lord. Should I continue to count? There are many, 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 there are many. There are many. I've seen a baby who they are going to, they are taken to hospital for uh, surgery, hole in the heart. And uh, in the night, we pray for that child. And in the, the second day, medically, they say, let's run tests before we wheel her inside. That's nothing again. I can continue. I can continue. I've seen a child who was under a serious health issue. And medically, all diagnosis, everything, they don't see it. But with the prayer of the saint, with the prayer of the saint, with the laying of, uh, of hand, amen, by the power of communion that was healing, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, two, three years ago, two years, three years, four years ago, I was part of a, a, a fellowship. We always go for uh, what you call a prison fellowship to pray for the brethren in the prison. On a particular day, we were there and I was praying for a particular set of people. And uh, the woman who led that, uh, the group, said, Pastor, 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 let me call that Pastor. I said, oh, he said, please come. That's a serious case here. It was those people inside the prison, the warders, that uh, told the woman that they have health issue, that this person, they know that he's going to die. And the woman said, I said, no, can you just get me? I said, I know. I said, they, they, they medically, they are suspecting that I may die at any, at any time. They use a particular foul language. <laughs> I just laughed. I said, can they get me something like water? 
something like biscuit or bread, something they can eat. They said, why not? And the woman looked at his pastor and said, I said, I just need to break communion for that person. Praise the Lord. By the power in the communion, they brought it. I was not the one that brought it so that there's nothing like, oh, maybe there's a sham or there's something. They brought water inside from the prison there and they provide the bread. We pray on it. We decree, we declare co- power of communion, the power of resurrection to fall on it. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Me, myself, it was a shock. It's not the healing that was shocked. The guy was ill within two weeks. And within two weeks, he was granted amnesty. Is it amnesty? He was released from prison and he was discharged, acquitted, just go and see no more. <laughs> so to them, everybody was like, this, this guy's case is, 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 is strange. It's strange. Here, Mr. I can continue and continue. I don't know what is your own health issue. Today, what we are going to administer is the blood of Jesus. You know, I share with us how the blood of human beings can bring healing according to medical people because science that tested and proved it. But here, Mr. Sir, hear me, man. I bring a superior blood. I bring the power in another blood, the blood of Jesus, that can do greater things more than the human blood. And today, as you are going to be part of this communion, if you have faith, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that earth issue, that earth issue, the Lord God will intervene in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will intervene in the name of Jesus. Anything that needs to be adjusted in your system, anything that needs to be adjusted in your system, your leg that needs to be adjusted, your pelvis that needs adjustment, your pelvis that needs adjustment, I decree, I declare, your backbones that need adjustment, your spinal cord that need defined touch and adjustment, your arms that need to be grow, that need extra growth, I decree, I declare, as you partake of this today's communion, in the name of Jesus, there is going to be defined surgery, defined adjustment in the name of Jesus. You that person that you are having neck problem, as a result of that, as a result of that neck um, issue that you are having, there are pains and the pains is just going up and down all your body. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. As you partake of today's communion, the hand of the Almighty God for the final adjustment is coming upon your neck, is coming upon your spine in the name of Jesus. Any one of you that your issue is as a result of hormonal imbalance in your system. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. As you partake of today's communion in the name of Jesus, as the blood of Jesus Christ enter into your system. That is going to be the fine correction in your almost in the name of Jesus. The fine correction in your almost in the name of Jesus. The fine correction in your almost in the name of Jesus. The fine correction in your almost in the name of Jesus. The fine correction, 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 the fine correction in the name of Jesus. As many of you are online, the problem with your health is your immune system. Your immune system is slow. As a result of that sickness, infirmity, they are just playing football in your system. They are just playing game in your system. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. As you partake of today's communion, by the power in the blood of Jesus, there is going to be truth. There is going to be increase. There is going to be empowerment upon your immune system in the name of Jesus. As many of you, that your own issue, your own health issue, is as a result of electrical, magnetical frequencies that are in not in balance, in tune, in your system. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Today, as you partake of this blood of Jesus, that electrical, that uh, magnetic frequency, the Lord God is going to balance them in the name of Jesus. The Lord is going to balance them in the name of Jesus. Those of you that your own issue is as a result of that protein uh, issue, the prawns or your pH balance, they are not coordinated, they are not in order. As you partake of today's communion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the, the hand of the Almighty God, through the blood of Jesus, is bringing perfection in the name of Jesus. 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 Any one of you that your own issue is as a result of that extra growth, excess protein, that little excess growth in your system. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as you partake of this blood of Jesus, it is written in the book of Psalms. Say, the stranger, as soon as the stranger hear my voice. The voice of Jesus Christ through his blood is coming to your system. And as soon as your system receives the blood of Jesus, they receive the voice of God. 
And as soon as they hear the voice of Christ, he said, the stranger shall come out of their hiding places. Any growth in your system, any growth in your system, any growth in your system, any growth in your body, as soon as they hear God, I declare, I declare, they met away in the name of Jesus. 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 Everything that needs to be normalized in your system by the blood of Jesus today heaven normalize them in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus heaven normalize them in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus heaven normalize them in the name of Jesus heaven normalize them in the name of Jesus they will bring normalize upon it in the name of Jesus as many of you that they are your 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 system above I call it acute bacteria acute bacteria because it refused to go it refused it's only you every month you must treat infection. My sister, every month, every time you must treat infection. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. That bacteria is, is a stranger in your system. But uh, today, as you are receiving this communion in the name of Jesus, heaven flush them out in the name of Jesus. Heaven flush them out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anything that is not normal in your system, anything that is not functioning well in your system, as you receive the blood of Jesus Christ today, the Lord bring perfection in the name of Jesus. In the life of your children, in the body of your system, of your sister, the Lord bring perfection in the name of Jesus. The Lord bring perfection in the name of Jesus. Any one of you are having blood issues, today I speak to that blood, let it cease in the name of Jesus. The one that is flowing abnormal, let it cease in the name of Jesus. The one that have ceased and you are praying that it should come. Today, by the key of David, I open your system in the name of Jesus. Let it flow and it is flowing. Let it flow normal in the name of Jesus. Any one of you with injury on your system, internal or external, as you take today's communion, the Lord bring you healing in the name of Jesus. The Lord bring you healing in the name of Jesus. The Lord bring you healing in the name of Jesus. Any one of you that your system, that your, the health issue you are having is as a result of the blood transfusion that you received some years ago. Since you received that blood transfusion, it has been one problem or the other. Today, as you are receiving another blood transfusion, the transfusion of the blood of Jesus Christ for divine connection, for divine direction, for divine fine tune, to fine tune your system. Today, every error in your system, every manipulation in your system, every medical error in your system, today, let that be divine correction in the name of Jesus. Divine correction, divine correction, divine correction, divine correction, divine correction, divine correction, divine correction in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As many of you that you are, your system lack, or should I put it this way? There are some organs, fighter organs that are missing in your system. Either through one operation, either through accident, or through manipulation, there are one organ or the other are missing. Or because of issues of life, one organ has been tampered with in your system. Here, Mr. Here, Mr. Today, the Bible said Jesus Christ took the soil, spit on it, and he mowed. As he mowed, he put it on his face. He was molding another ice ball. He was molding another organ, another ice ball. Hear me, sir. Hear me, I decree, I declare, as many of you in that category, that you need fresh and new organ. Either in the air region, in this uh, body region, in your chest region, in your stomach region, any organ. Either fighter, either major or minor, any organ of your system that is missing as a result of that, there are issues in your life today. As you partake of today's communion, creative healing, creative ability, creative miracle, let it be released upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you praise, we give you honor. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Take the communion in your hand. In the next one minute, everybody take the communion in your hand. Take the flesh in your hand and the blood in your hand. In the next 30 seconds, you are going to, for those of you who are asking for creative healing, what do I mean by creative healing? Like what I said last, there are some organs that are not in your system. Womb, one of your kidneys have been removed or have been damaged or it has been tampered with 
whatever organ that you want God to create, creative healing. Any organs of your system that is not working or is not functioning well, begin as you don't take, don't drink, don't eat it. Just begin hold that communion on your hand and begin to speak to it. As I receive this communion today, I receive organ. I received heart. I received new kidney. I received new this. I re- received new, new womb. I received fresh eyes. I received, begin to call them, begin to mention them in the name of Jesus. Hold it in your hand. And if your own is not like that, what you need is healing. Begin to decree and declare as a partake of today's communion. I receive healing. You are having health issue. Mention it. If your own, you are not having anything, but you need strength. You want God to strengthen your body. Begin to declare, declare. As I partake of today's communion, the Lord strengthen me. I receive strength in the name of Jesus. I receive strength. 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 Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. You are going to take that prayer again. As you are taking that prayer, Hear what God is showing me by, by the uh, spirit of revelation. After this communion, if your system changes suddenly and you find yourself going to the toilet, I cancel. If after this communion, if after this communion, your system suddenly changes and you find yourself going to the toilet, Please don't use anything to stop it. Let everything flush out. You will testify to the goodness of God. Did you hear me? The moment you take this communion between now and the next 24 hours, you see your system. You see yourself running to the toilet. Don't worry. God is flushing every strange things, every impurity in your system. God is flushing them out. Can we take those prayers again one more time? You need creative healing, begin to talk to God. You need divine healing, begin to talk to God. You want God to strengthen your body, begin to talk to God. You There's one sickness in your body, there's one ailment, begin to talk to God. There's one ailment, medical, begin to talk to God. Ask the Lord God to heal you. Ask God, God to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. Mention it, mention it. Thank you, Jesus. You, that man, your wife is receiving healing. Your wife is receiving healing. There's a man online. Your wife is sick. But hear me, she's receiving healing. What they are showing me is a white woman, not a black. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every woman with Post menopausal syndrome, define, connect, define correction in the name of Jesus. I'm giving you room to talk to God without coming on before we break, before we take it today. I'm giving you room because you will testify. Testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody ask for divine healing. Ask for divine healing. Ask for divine healing. Ask for divine healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That, that abnormal eight rashes on that uh, girl, the Lord God is healing her in the name of Jesus. The Lord is healing her in the name of Jesus. The Lord is healing her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm hearing this. Tell her, tell that woman, that that girl that. Because of that ailment that she has not been able to eat for some days now. Hear me, Sima. As you serve that child today's communion, before the closing of today, she's going to demand for food. Give her the food. Don't worry. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we give you time, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, I want to say thank you for today's. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you for the power in the communion. As you take today's communion, I ask that the power in the blood of Jesus, let it flow into our system in the name of Jesus for creative healing, for creative correction, for creative healing, for the strength to be restored in the name of Jesus. Everyone with eyes problem, the Lord 
heal your eyes problem in the name of Jesus. Everyone, anyone online with abnormal body temperature, you are having abnormal body temperature. The Lord, by this blood of Jesus, the Lord correct it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Father, sanctify this breed upon it, the breath of life. As every one of us take it, as our family take it, we take it for life, we take it for healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Praise ye the Lord. Now take the flesh and drink the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Please have your family member. As you drink, as you eat, you eat unto life, not unto condemnation, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's not forget, this is Praying Goods Network, an online prayer ministry, where we come together in the place of prayer to pray unto God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, with the help of Holy Spirit. Every Thursday, 12 noon Nigeria time, hours of mercy. Every Friday, 12 noon Nigeria time, communal service, like the one we just have now. And every Friday also, we have our weekly Fiji. So join me tonight, 11.30 p.m. on Free Conference Collab for our weekly Fiji. And uh, by the help of Holy Spirit, every Saturday, the children will come online to pray together, 5 p.m. on Zoom platform. You have any children, you have a child, you have children below the age of 20, let's come together, let's pray together every Saturday, 5 p.m. And your family will meet also 8 p.m. And Sunday, this coming Sunday, is Resurrection Sunday. Praise the Lord. It's that Sunday. So join me this Sunday as we delve in, as we look at the power of His resurrection. The power of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why did He die for us? When He resurrected, why? The objective, the purpose. And uh, as you look at them, there shall be manifestation, there shall be confirmation in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Once again, my name is Ariel Laurelua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, Pray in Good Center. As many, as many of you whom God is using to support this uh, vision with your seed, with your offering, may God bless you in the name of Jesus. Devora in, in, in form of sickness, in form of amen, in form of health issue. In your life, in the life of your spouse, in the life of your children, shall be far away from you in the name of Jesus. Your health. The earth of your loved one will not waste your money, will not waste your resources, will not waste your time in the name of Jesus. And for those of you, you are saying, Pastor, I've been blessed today. I want to give amen. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Just look at today's title. You are on Facebook page. You will see the account detail there. And if you are listening to this audio, just send a message to plus 234-80-626-8-6255. Plus 234-80-626-8-6255. Till you come again by the special grace of God, go forth and begin to enjoy the benefit, the Calvary benefit, the power, the healing grace in the blood of Jesus. Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I may be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.